Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Advanced PHP with MySQL course. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about what's known as a linking table, which is a type of table in the database that's going to allow us to move our department's database from a file-based system over into our MySQL database. We're going to talk about um, <clears throat> the concepts of how could we model our departments in a database table, uh, which is going to lead to our discussion basically progress us forward into this discussion of linking tables, which is sort of the goal of this lesson. As part of that discussion, we're going to be talking about a concept called database normalization, which is a way to basically make your database uh, work and act more efficiently. Uh, one of the topics related to that is something known as foreign keys. Then we're going to talk about what a linking table is, and, and also uh, related to a linking table, how you can have a uh, table with a primary key that's comprised of multiple columns. Then we're going to go over a required homework that you're going to need to do to basically set up uh, your uh, advanced PHP database so that you can run the future versions of our uh, sample web application. So basically, we know that a department object uh, from, from our web application uh, contains, it has, well, we know that the object itself has three properties. It has a department ID, a name, and then it has an indexed array of item IDs where each item ID represents an item in a department. So how could we model this in a table? Um, there's a couple of different things that we could do. For example, we could create a table with, um, that maps one column to each property of our object. We could have a column called department ID, which would be the primary key of the table. Um, it's a unique ID for each department. We could have a column called name, which would be the name of the particular department. And then we could have a column called items, which would be used to um, hold the information about all of the different items that are in a particular department. In this case, as is, has, has been the case in our items, excuse me, our departments.txt file, we've been uh, basically storing all of the item information in a comma delimited list that basically shows all the items in the particular department. So we could simply just move that comma delimited string into this items row, um, into this items columns of our department table. So here would be a, a department with three items, and here would be a department with two items, for example. Uh, the problem with that is uh, that we're going to talk about in the next slide with database normalization is uh, it makes it difficult to search the database. One of the reasons we use a relational database is because the way it can quickly search uh, information. Well, now in order to look up an item to see if, for example, item 1004 was part of department uh, number one, we'd actually have to um, pull this column up using a select query from the database and then parse through that as we had been doing on our departments.txt file, basically extracting each of the item's IDs in that um, using, for example, the explode function that works on separating items by the comma delimiter. And basically, it just adds another step. So it takes away our advantage of using the database to automatically search for things. Now we have to write some uh, manual code to basically parse that item string. So another option uh, you, you might think would be, let's uh, have a department ID column again, a name column again. But then this time, we just create a, a column to store each item's, excuse me, a column to store uh, the item ID of each item in the department. So we'd have a different column for each item in the department. So we might have one called item ID 1, item ID 2, and item ID 3. Uh, in this particular case, uh, the first item, if it was the same exact data as up here, it would have three values, 1001, 1004, 1007. And so all of those columns would be filled up. However, our electronics department only has two items, so it has this empty, empty column here. Well, let's say right now, basically, this limits us to only having three items in our database. So if we wanted to be able to have a four, fourth item in the department, we'd have to add a, another column over here, which is going to involve restructuring our, our table, which is uh, um, uh, a procedure you want to avoid if possible. Additionally, if we add a fourth item, for example, 1008, to our uh, first department, and it still only has two items for department number two. Now we have two empty spaces in our database. Um, and so this is stuff that takes up space um, uh, in our database. And basically one of the goals is you want to avoid having uh, a lot of empty space within your database. 